towards a dynamic vision sensor-based insect camera trap. Insect biomass and diversity have been shown to be in decline during the last decade, and since they take up such a vital role in the ecosystem, insect monitoring has become increasingly important. Compared to invasive manual sensors like malaise traps, vision-based monitoring systems show higher potential to provide insect monitoring at scale. As you can see, insects move relatively fast through cluttered and dynamic environments. Because of this, conventional RGB images have to be captured at increased frame rates for detection, which requires well-lit environments while also increasing power and storage consumption. Here we are looking at frames accumulated from an event stream. Compared to conventional full-frame cameras, event cameras capture at much higher temporal resolution and have high dynamic range while consuming less energy. Instead of full frames at fixed intervals, pixel changes are captured asynchronously, reducing the amount of redundant data. Because of these properties, we implemented a stereo system comprised of a conventional high frame rate full frame camera as well as an event based camera. Events are captured and analyzed continuously to detect insect presence in real time. Once insect presence is detected, the full frame RGB camera capture is enabled. The result is an insect camera trap with low demand for storage and power. Here, a visualization of the event rate for each pixel is shown on the left. As you can see, flying insects cause areas with high event rates both from their movements through space as well as their wing beat. These areas can be clustered and tracked over time to detect insect presence as is shown on the right. A cluster is defined by its center point, its area of influence, its rate of event assignments and its movement vector. The area of influence of a cluster is shown as an ellipsis. Here green clusters are considered to represent insects, while blue clusters are considered to be background movement. The yellow line from the center of each cluster shows its current movement vector. The clustering algorithm begins by rejecting as many irrelevant events as possible. All remaining events are then used to incrementally update the model. They are either assigned to existing clusters or may cause cluster creation in high event rate regions. Cluster properties are tracked over time and used to distinguish insect from background clusters. To evaluate our approach, insect locations in six videos totaling over 80,000 frames were labeled, resulting in over 40,000 bounding boxes tracking 174 individual insect trajectories. These videos were recorded in varied conditions to evaluate the effect of different scene complexity and wind induced motion. Our approach was then evaluated with two different parameter configurations. One optimized to maximize box F1 score on every individual scene and one globally over all scenes. The results were then compared to YOLO v7 with confidence thresholds optimized for each scene as well as EVProbNet, both operating on accumulated event frames. Generally, YOLO v7 and our approach compare favorably to EVProbNet. For well post scenes, our global configuration performs similarly or better to YOLO v7. Scene-specific configurations perform significantly better than the global configuration for most scenes. In conclusion, our evaluation shows that event-based vision and asynchronous processing enable fast insect localization at low computational cost.